Hello, I'm Sketchy Duval, and today I'm back to do another Get Ready With Me because I really enjoy doing these. They feel really casual and comfortable for me. So I've got my Coca-Cola for the day, I guess, and let's get started. So I usually have my coffee for the day, but I have my Coca-Cola today. I already had a coffee earlier today and I felt like I needed more caffeine so I went and got a coke. I got a banana from the combini and then I stopped by the vending machine and got a coke. I usually don't drink soda. I actually, I actually don't like drinking soda because it makes my stomach kind of bloated or something, I don't know. But coke is like my last resort to help get rid of a migraine or a headache. I don't know, headaches are something I've always kind of dealt with. For a while they like went away, but recently they've been popping up again. I've been noticing a pattern of like every time I have a day off, I get a migraine and it's really frustrating because I have plans of stuff I want to do. I have like errands I need to run and I'm like out for a few hours, like by the migraine I mean, and it like takes me out for a few hours. I'm like, I can't do anything. I'm just gonna go in with my Rare Beauty concealer. Anyway, so I've been trying to improve my eating habits because I thought that would help solve the issue. So this morning, I woke up, I had a glass of water, I made my breakfast, which was a piece of toast and two eggs, and then I had an aloe gel yogurt but I still felt myself starting to get a headache. So I was like, okay, let me go get a coffee. So I went to go get a coffee and I got an ice cream and I got some, like some nacho chips. So I ate those, but then I could still feel it coming. I could still feel the migraine forming. And I was like, oh God, this is gonna be another one of those days, isn't it? So then after that, I made myself some gyoza like just frozen gyoza because it was kind of around like lunchtime and still I got a migraine I got a headache so I just I put on Brat by Charlie XCX like the whole album and I laid down in bed and I just laid there while the album was playing so when the album like finished I, I was like okay let me get up and I did feel kind of better could still feel like remnants of the migraine so i was like okay let me go get my coke and i felt like i needed some sugar or something too so i got a banana i came home ate the banana drank the coke and finally my headache is gone so that's where i'm at now i don't know how much of it is my diet i looked a little bit into it because i have been noticing that pattern of getting a migraine on my days off specifically. During the week, I don't get them. It's only during my days off. So I looked into it on Google because I'm a Google scholar and a Google doctor. I learned about let down migraines. That's what they're called. And apparently like the, the stress during the week just like builds up. And then when you are out of your normal routine, that change of routine triggers your body to like release the stress and it's released in the form it's released so suddenly that it like causes a migraine so i mean unfortunately i have that happen to me but fortunately fortunately now i know maybe what it is i can try to like treat it i don't know if you have any tips for how to treat migraines or how to treat let down stress and let down migraines let me know because I can't, like, it's so annoying. <sighs> so anyway, today I need to go shopping. I need to go to like a home center because my like closet area did not come with a hanging clothes rack inside of it when I, when I moved in. So I had to buy my own and I bought a tension pole just to put like between the walls, you know? And then I have my clothes hanging on there, like sweaters and stuff like that. Long sleeves, sweaters, jackets, I have those hanging up. And then everything else I have like folded inside of shelving things. The hanging rod has been working, like it's fine. And I like the setup of it, but it's kind of heavy. Like all of my heavy clothes are hanging on it, like sweaters and stuff. So whenever there is an earthquake, I guess, 
the shaking of the walls combined with the heaviness makes it drop down and it's just bothering me like i don't want to deal with it so i'm gonna try to find a new setup for my clothes to hang on so i'm thinking i might look for just like a standing clothing rack instead of a tension pole you know because the standing one won't be affected like that by the earthquakes but i think it will also inspire me to clean out my closet and get rid of some clothes because i do think i have more clothes than i need i don't know i don't think i have too many but my boyfriend was like you have a lot more clothes than i do and i was like really i don't think so but i guess i do so speaking of clothes of course i love fashion as you can tell no but like i have my shirts i'm wearing my shirt today there is this game for the nintendo switch called fashion dreamer and it came out like a few months ago i think maybe in march i've been really wanting it like ever since it was announced like when i when i saw the announcement trailer for it i was like this will be like the only game i ever need for the rest of my life and so when it came out i was like okay i'm not gonna buy it because i know it will be go like on sale eventually you know i don't like to buy games new because i know that around like christmas or whatever i can just like buy them on sale so um i was waiting for Fashion Dreamer to go on sale. Finally, I, s I found it for like around 3,000 yen or something. And then my boyfriend had a point card with like 1,500 points on it. So I was able to buy Fashion Dreamer for like 1,500 yen, which is crazy. But the original price is like 6,000 yen. My philosophy of waiting for things to go on sale seems to be working for me. But anyway, Fashion Dreamer is a game where you create your avatar character, which is called a muse, and then you can style them and dress them how you want. And the point is to like interact with the other players in the game, either online play with other people or like the NPCs. You can style outfits for them, they can style outfits for you, and you can create your own custom clothing items. And share them with people and people can like like those items and the more like likes you get and stuff the more interactions the more points you get which can unlock more designs and more clothing for you to make you really could not have formulated a more perfect game for me i am such a casual gamer i don't like high stress gaming i love horror movies but i don't really like horror games um, because i'm too scared to play them like oh my god i tried to play evil within could not do it. I, I was literally just crouching behind a corner because I was like, I, I can't, like I'm gonna I'm gonna be caught and killed. So yeah, I just, I, I always play casual games like Animal Crossing or The Sims or things like that. My favorite parts about The Sims and Animal Crossing are like the creating the characters and decorating. And that's literally what Fashion Dreamer is. It's like if you took the character creator from The Sims and the design element from Animal Crossing New Horizons and combine them into one game. And you gave it the vibe of like those early 2000s, like like IMVU, like that kind of vibe. It, it literally feels like that. It's so much fun. I got the game about a week ago and I've already beaten it. I didn't even know you could beat this game. I guess once you reach a certain amount of followers, it triggers the game to give you the platinum trophy and then it, go it goes to the credits scene. I mean, from that point on, you can continue playing and like build up your followers and keep making more items and stuff. But I guess I've already beat like the main objective or story of the game, but I have so much fun playing it. I'm gonna keep playing it. You know, my hair, <laughs> I don't know what's going on with my hair. I'm not feeling this. <laughs> like, I'm just touching it. Like, this is not a style. I've been thinking like, what if I do my hair like up? I don't know. I used to do my hair kind of like up like this when I was in high school. I go through phases where like, I'll find a way to style my hair and I like it. So then I keep doing that. But then eventually I get like too used to it. So I get bored and then I want to do something else. I don't know. I mean, I think this is like cute actually. And why not? You know, because the thing is, no one cares, actually. No one is looking at my hair being like, oh my god, why did he style his hair up instead of down? You know, I'm the only person thinking about that. It really doesn't matter. I need to have more freedom and fun with myself. Okay, 
I think I like this. It's like messy, but also a little cleaner. I like to walk the line between grunge and prep. I think that's a fun duality. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying most of the time. I'm literally just improving as I go in life. And aren't we all? The thing is, like, I'm such a planned, scheduled, regimented person, but you can't really be that way in life because nothing, nothing is promised, nothing is fixed, life is chaos, and I'm foolish for trying, for thinking that I can, like, plan it out. But am I gonna stop? No, because that's how I am. I'm a Capricorn. I'm convinced that I can, like, beat the cosmos into submission, much like my hair, you know? So yeah, here's my hair for the day, my face and my hair for the day. Next, I have my outfit. So I'm already wearing the shirt that I'm going to wear for the day. This is my custom Sketchy Duval shirt, of course. What else would I be wearing if not my own artwork? So let's pack up all my stuff and I will show you my outfit for the day. So here's my outfit for the day. Um, of course, I have my Sketchy shirt, my rubber motel bag, both made by me and my boyfriend. Then recently I've been really loving baby blue, like this color. I have a shoelace tied into my Crocs and this belt of the same color. It's like one of those cloth belts, you know? I've been into this idea lately of using muted greens and beige as my neutral instead of black. I used to be really into wearing black with a pop of color, but recently I've been switching the black for like a beige or muted green or something, and I think it makes the outfits look a little more elevated and more like fashiony and less like middle schooler. I don't know. I used to dress kind of like that in middle school where everything was like black and then a pop of color. So it was just taking me back there and I was like, mm, let's bring it up to 2024, you know? So that's what I've been doing and I think it's successful. I especially love these green shorts with the pop of blue. I think this is a really fun color combination, especially with like the white and the beige surrounding it. I just don't, I think it's really fun. For a while I was wearing pink and now I'm kind of more into like this blue color. I'm gonna try to see what I can find. I might go thrifting today, but my main focus, my main goal is to find a new way to store my clothing because that's the bigger problem, you know? Actually, you know what? The problem is I have too many clothes. So why am I gonna go thrifting for more clothes when I still haven't taken care of that? Okay, so yeah, my main focus <laughs> is to take care of my clothes. So let me do that. And yeah, this is what I will wear to do that. So that was my get ready with me for today. I'm glad my migraine went away. Thank you to the Coke, bumping that. So of course, as always, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And until next time, goodbye.